Atlas is a new early access open world survival MMORPG by the creators of Ark Survival Evolved that was initially announced in December 2018, with early access being made available on Steam a few weeks later. When I initially saw the trailer for this game, I thought it looked quite epic and I know a lot of people were excited for it. Unfortunately, the game had quite a rocky launch, so I decided to wait a while before jumping in and checking it out so that the game breaking issues could hopefully be fixed. In this video, you'll see my first First impressions of Atlas recorded just over a month after the game's initial early access launch. So today I'm finally going to be trying out Atlas about a month after the game initially launched. I know this game had a terrible launch, there was lots of bugs apparently and there was a lot of negative reviews for it. I haven't really watched much gameplay or anything of the game but everyone tells me it's basically just a reskinned version of Ark. I did quite enjoy Ark, however, so I'm going to reserve judgement when I've actually played the game. So let's jump in and check it out. When we click join new Atlas, we've got the choice between four different official servers, EU, PvE and PvP, and the same for NA. You've also got unofficial servers as well, which we're not going to play on. Let's just join EU PvP. Here it seems to be asking me whereabouts in the world I want to spawn, and each of these places has a cap of 150 players. There's 14 people at the Northwest Tropical Freeport, so I guess we will join this area. So this is the character creator, is it? Preview age. You can make yourself a little bit older, which gives you some more wrinkles. We're gonna be old as fuck. Body fat. You can be a chunky monkey or a skinny Jimmy. So just lots of sliders, really. Nothing too crazy. Not the best character customization, but it's not the worst I've seen. That'll do. We're gonna spawn on the eastern island. As soon as I spawn into the world, there's a giant fucking floating elephant there to greet me. Lovely. How do I get rid of this fucking message? Oh, it just... You don't get rid of it. It just kind of scrolls around. I think I already know how to play this game because I played Ark quite a bit. This giant wall of text taking up my screen is pretty fucking annoying. The tutorial has ended and we can go and do all of the predictable things that you would expect to do in a survival game. There we go, level up. Okay, and now we can level up the basics, survivalism. So this gives me access to a spear, which sounds kind of useful. Stone pick. And then I need to make myself a hatchet, but first we need some wood. Oh bloody hell, there's a big pack of animals over here. Wait, are they in the middle of the ocean? They've got to be on an island or something, surely. Okay. I have no idea why all of these guys are just crowding around this island, but that's a thing apparently. A random bull here as well that they've adopted. Nice. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> We're gonna need to kill ourselves a bull so we've got plenty of food before we head out. Okay, nice frame rate. Okay, I'm getting attacked by the male bull. He doesn't like that. It doesn't feel like a smooth gameplay experience currently, and we're dead. We got fucked by a level one bull. I'm gonna loot my stuff and then try again, I guess. The bull seems to have bled out from my attack on him. Let's lay a campfire. I suppose we should cook this animal meat. Oh, I see. If you press left alt, it actually locks onto monsters. There's a giant ship over there. I wonder if I can go and sail it. Now that it's daylight, I should start my pirating adventure. So there's a raft, there's a boat over here, I guess. Oh, okay, that was terrible. This is one of the most laggy games I think I've played. Can I jump on this? Huh? Hello? Right, so you can't actually jump on this. You just float across it. Oh my god, now I'm getting sucked into it like it's a black hole. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't believe that this is the game. Like, I can't even jump on the bloody raft. Oh my god. Right, Kate, okay, can I climb this ladder? We're trying to climb the ladder and this is what happens. What? How is this- how has this game even made it to early access? It just doesn't work on a fundamental level. And I've waited like a month before covering this because I thought the initial bugs and game-breaking issues would be solved. Maybe it could become a good game when things work, but nothing bloody works. Seems like this elephant's trapped, so I can probably kill it for some easy XP. It's hurting my immersion, just standing there like that. We have a giant floating dead friend now. I mean, I know the game's in early access, 
but this is very early for early access. I kind of want to investigate this ship, but I feel as though it will just lag me out. Oh, another player. This person's riding around on a giant bear. Chopping trees down. That's cool. Surely I can climb on a giant boat like this. Here we go. Climb up. Climb up. Come on, game. Swim me back to this island. I can't regen my stamina because I'm thirsty. But to get the water, I need to go over there. It's not going well at all. It's, it's going fucking horribly. I'm cold. I'm tired. I can barely swim. I'm almost fucking drowning. And then, then Mr. Manta Ray has to come along to rub salt in the wounds, does he? Leave me alone, Mr. Manta Ray. There we go, and then we get fucking Manta ray <laughs> Oh my god, it's going so badly. At least we've got stamina now. In a way, dying actually saved me time. There's a giant sign here that says water. So, that's kind of useful. There's also a dodge button if you double tap the movement keys. So this is what fresh water looks like. Obviously, you can't just drink sea water. We're gonna do a cliff dive. Hopefully, we don't take too much damage. Jump here. So right now, I think I just need to kill monsters and level up so I can actually make a boat of some kind. That's gonna be the plan. Monkeys also seem to be easy targets. Oh, how is it alive? Dude, you've got a spear through your head. It took, it took like no damage from that. Okay, and now we're green. All I did was eat some meat. What the fuck? This is the exact same screen filter as in Ark when those acid spitting dinosaurs jump on you. So when people told me that this game was like Ark, I thought, oh, it's going to be like Ark, but it's going to be better because how could you possibly make a game like Ark without making it better than Ark? It's, it's worse than Ark. It's like shit version of Ark. I'm about to die. And I have no idea why. I, I don't know why I died. I died from eating cooked meat. It looks like a message in a bottle or something. Let's have a look. Collect treasure map. Okay. So the game's telling me I can zoom in and out with this map by using scroll up and scroll down. I'm doing that and it doesn't work. I was really hoping for better because Ark is actually my favorite survival game. And when people said, oh, this game's like Ark, I was actually kind of excited. I'm currently trying to level up so I can unlock the ability to make a raft and then I can go and sail and find a bit of land that I can then claim and then build on because I can't build on any of this area which is kind of annoying. A horde of bull and turtles are having a swimming party together. And there's a fish jumping right out of the water. What am I looking at? Bit of monkey shit there for me to pick up as well. Oh. That's cool. I can speak to this guy and I can travel to different places. There has to be a fucking storage box. Surely the game doesn't want me to level up by gathering stuff and dropping it on the fucking floor. There's no way the developers are that short-sighted. Otherwise, the first part of the game would just feel completely pointless, right? Look at this idiot getting charged by bulls. You fucked with the wrong animal, mate. I'm gonna loot all of his shits, because that's what you do in survival games. He's looking at me, because he knows I just looted him. <laughs> My stuff now. Wait, we gotta level up. The dude attacked the elephant, and now the elephant's attacking me. What the fuck? He's trying to get me killed because I took his stuff. He didn't even have anything good on him. He's just really salty. I clicked travel to the west and it's basically a copy-paste island of the other one that I started at. <laughs> Impressive. Oh man, you scrape a female cow and you get like 50 bulls just on you. And I can also learn to make a shipyard and ship stuff. Oh fuck off female cows. Stop running into me whilst I'm trying to chop trees. Because this happens. They intentionally get chopped by axes. So now we have ourselves an actual proper boat, it seems. Let's go, I guess. Sail controls. Fully open the sails. Then we use the steering wheel. We are driving our boat. So now I'm basically supposed to sail off and find land, which I can then build on, that no one else has found yet. 
in this speed demon. When I first saw the trailer for this game, I was like, yes, Atlas, I need to play this game. Expectations versus reality are two very different things, I guess. Considering how slow my boat's going, and considering how big the game's map is, I can't see myself finding an island paradise anytime soon. Not one that's unclaimed anyway. Seems like a game that I'll need to revisit in the future when it's actually had a little bit of development. So after playing Atlas for a few hours, these are my thoughts on the game so far. I think the whole idea and concept of the game is quite cool and unique, hence why so many people were excited for it. I mean, what's not to like about the idea of sailing the ocean, making settlements, having huge ship battles and fighting sea monsters? Unfortunately, in its current state, the game doesn't live up to its vision yet on any level. It genuinely does just feel like a shit reskin of Ark. The music is repetitive and annoying, the alt-lock combat and controls feel clunky and poorly thought out, the random scattering of monsters around the starting area looks ridiculous, the tutorial being in the form of a lazy wall of text is just pathetic, the game doesn't run very smoothly especially when there's other players around, and the whole new player experience completely misses the mark and leaves a sour taste in the mouth. I think this could just be one of those games to check back on after a year or two to see how progress with development goes. It seems like this one was way too early for early access and is a long way off of the 40,000 simultaneous players in a persistent world vision that they initially sold us on. I hope the game will become good one day though because the idea is cool even if the execution is really embarrassing. But that's it for this video guys, I'm going to try to get back into the swing of making content again over the next few weeks. So let me know about any multiplayer or MMORPG games that have come out recently that you'd like to see me covered on this channel that I may have missed or forgotten about. Additionally, I recently updated my clothing website Epic IRL to have some lower prices, new designs and more options, so feel free to check that out if you want to support the channel. Thanks for watching, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you again really soon.